How many of you are inspired by life? And how many of you are inspired by life, but you don't quite know what to do to get out in the world and really live it fully? Um, well, my name is Lisa McIntyre, and I want to share with you my passion for road trips. And I want to teach you possible ways to release your inner gypsy. Um, thank you so much for giving me the time to share a little bit about my heart and my soul um, as I inspire, hopefully inspire, you to take that step, to do what, it, what, what, what makes a difference in your heart. Um, shrug off all of the limitations that that are possibly self-imposed. So, do you mind if I share a story with you? It'll be um, fun for me to share this with you. Uh, I have been on three major road trips. They total about 20,000 miles um, in the United States mostly, although I have traveled to Vancouver Island, um, which is in Canada and I traveled across southern Ontario from you know, the United States Detroit to Niagara Falls. Um, aside from that, I've been all in the United States. Been to 47 states. Um, I, I flew to Hawaii, <laughs> didn't drive. Uh, but I'm, so I'm missing Alaska, North Dakota, and Kentucky. So all the way around Kentucky, and I miss Kentucky. Uh, I'm going next month. Um, so my story is I, I've always felt limited, um, by my surroundings. Um, I was sexually abused as a, um, young girl, um, probably about 12 or 13 years old. I, I blocked out a lot of my, of my life, um, based on that experience. A lot of my choices that I've made since that time, um, although I didn't realize I was making them because of that, I realize now that it um, definitely changed my perspective. Uh, I've been married and divorced three times. And so I raised my children on my own after my third husband. I said, I've got to work on me. I've got to work on me. So as a single parent, um, I felt very trapped um, in, not in being a parent, but in what I needed to do to be a parent, um, such as a job, a good job, such as homework, making sure my children had everything they needed um, to have a full experience of the world so that when they got to be older, they could make um, you know, choices based on things they'd experienced. So, um, my son, graduated from high school, my daughter and I decided to take a road trip. Um, I pulled out of school for a year and we stepped out on an adventure that you could, is in storybooks. <laughs> we worked in our old, old, old RV and spent all of our money, my money, and time. We took off two months too late, oh my gosh, I quit my corporate job. I felt boxed in, I was in a cube. I, I, I loved what I did, but I didn't feel appreciated and I wasn't able to, well, I shouldn't say I loved what I did. If I didn't have a cubicle around me and I was respected a little bit more, it would have been fine. But one week off a year, really? Are you kidding me? I have, no, that is not living. That is not living. Living is out there, not in here. No! So, I quit my job. I wanted to be a gypsy and get on the road. So I did. My daughter and I did. Uh, we left Denver with the hope of being out in the world for a year or more. Maybe never come back to Denver. Maybe find our way out there in the world. So we left Denver. I'm smiling so much now because the adventure 
took us places and we experienced things that there's no possible way we could have planned on any of those. Uh, but I had $600 in the bank and a full tank of gas. Um, we ended up getting about five to seven miles per gallon in this old RV that we fixed up. Oh, and I had no credit cards. None. So what we had was what we had. Um, Santiago was the name of our RV, and we had our two kitty cats with us. We boldly left Denver one fall night and went all the way to Fort Collins. <laughs> we figured we just had to get out of town. So, oh my gosh. I, there's so many stories with that, but what we did learn is that there is a great time for the road and there is a great time for home. There's a great time to meet new friends and there's a great time to visit old friends. Um, so after that, we came home, she finished high school here, flying, flying, flying flags or whatever, flying honors, honors. Uh, and then I ventured out on my own. After about a year, year and a half, I got itchy feet again. So I took a little trailer, my old Jeep, went out again. And then I stayed here for a little bit longer, and I went out again for a year. And I want to inspire you to do a similar thing. So there are two things I want to talk about today to help you make that step if you're inspired by my story at all. Um, who's inspired by this? Um, and who's scared, to death? <laughs> who's scared to death of something like this? Um, either way, um, if you do these two things today, um, you might find um, something out about yourself that you didn't know before. The one thing I want to talk to you about is um, a vision board. If you have never done one before, a vision board is a, um, I want to go get my vision board over here so you can see it. Um, a vision board is a tool that you use to inspire yourself. Uh, we get inundated by information and people and things and obligations that sometimes we lose focus of what we want in the world and who we want to be in the world. So a vision board can be a daily reminder of, of that. So I inspire you to Start gathering newspapers and magazines and words and phrases that inspire you to be um, 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 who you want to be in the future, what you want to have in the future, um, how you want to live in the world in the future. Just start cutting them out. In a week, find something to put them on. Um, I've used jars and glued my visions, my pictures and images to jars. I have used um, poster board, I have used um, tabletops, Sorry. Um, cut those out, glue them together, um, tape it together, whatever you need to do um, to have that in front of you. We're in, uh, it should be you, all you, all about you. Um, and all about you and your family, all about oh whatever it is that inspires you. So vision board is number one. And if you have done a vision board, I encourage you to do another one, maybe with a different focus. Um, say your first vision board was about your family. Make your second vision board about your um, your career, or possibly about. Um, items that you want to gather around you that make you happy, that you don't have yet. Um, one of those might be um, a car. One of those might be a collection of seashells that you've gathered from all the beaches that you've been to. Um, another might be images, pictures of your family. Whatever it is, I encourage you to do another one. And, and time changes. You change over time. Um, um, so I encourage you to do so, vision board, dreams, hopes, ideas, uh, things you want in front of you to remind you of, of you, of how you are in the world, what you want to aspire to be. 
second thing is based on road trips because that is where you find you. It's where you find well, it. may not be where you find it, but I'm hoping it's where you find it because that's where I found it. On the road brings uh, an appreciation for other people. It brings an appreciation of um, our planet. Um, it brings an appreciation of economies, of our farmers, of our miners, um, an appreciation of the railroads and what they do and where they go and why. And it's an appreciation of you. I, I learned a lot on the road. Um, and it, it can be a little bit intimidating, and I don't expect anybody to do to the extent extremes that I took it. But if you want to do that, you should. You should find a way. Find a way. Um, so take a full tank of gas in your location where you are now, and find a couple of locations that you can go to in one day. One day, actually probably within three hours, however long it takes to get rid of a tank of gas. And don't limit yourself to, oh, you know, my best friend lives in Colorado Springs, so I'll go find them in Colorado Springs and go out to dinner and, and go hike, you know, with them. That's an option, but I encourage you to do it, go somewhere you've never been, and go someplace that you don't know anybody. So actually just look at it, find some options, research a little bit about those towns, um, see where your mind goes, see where your heart goes. So that's it, you want a vision board, do a vision board, put it together, make your dreams come true, put it into action. Number two, since this is about road trips, where would you go if you had one full tank of gas? and a couple of days that you've never been, never been. Signing out, have a fabulous day. Think of yourself, send love to the universe, think of others, eye contact. Always use eye contact with everybody. Make the world a better place, we all have a choice.